Uh, definitely Coach Tang and the group that he, you know, brought over here with him. Uh, it's a great staff. Be able to play with long, great stop, uh, great players like Cam, Naquan, Tyler Perry. I feel like it was a great opportunity. Naquan kind of said you guys had a lot of interactions during like NBA workouts and stuff. Did he kind of play a part in you picking these things? Definitely. Uh, I feel like the the workout that we shared together was with the uh, Celtics, and uh, yeah, he's an extreme athlete. He's an even better teammate. You know, just watching how he operated in the workout, and he definitely played a major part in me coming over here. How much role did the style that K-State plays? It seems to fit you. Uh, how much role did that play in your choice? Uh, a lot. Uh, before I made the decision, I was on Synergy. I watched a lot of Keontae's minutes and how they used him. And I feel like I could fit in pretty well. What's kind of the biggest difference for you going from Creighton to Kansas State? Uh, just the culture. Uh, I feel like I'm surrounded by you know, a lot of good people who really want me to succeed and do good. Uh, I had the same thing at Creighton, but I feel like the level over here is just a little bit different. What's your preferred spot on the floor? Is it the three? Could you be a stretch four? Mm -hmm. I like to figure myself as a basketball player. Like, you could plug me in anywhere, and I'll be able to give you good minutes. Uh, my personal preference, I'll probably be three, four. Tell me a little bit about the experience. You talked about sharing that with Naquan and the Celtics, but overall for you, what did you feel were the positives that you got out of testing the waters? A confidence booster, honestly. Being able to go against guys that you know are sought out after that level, and that's the level that you want to aspire to be at, or that I aspire to be at, and being able to go against them and do well. You know, after your first good NBA workout, you're like, man, I don't want to ever come back to school. <laughs> but, you know, every path is different, and I'm willing to do my time. Was there ever a point, Arthur, where you thought about hanging in there and going and staying in? Oh, my mindset going into it was I was going to stay in. Okay. But uh, I didn't want to undersell myself or cut myself short. You've been a part of NCAA tournament teams in the past, teams that have advanced in the NCAA tournament before. How does this roster, from what you've seen so far, kind of compare? I feel like we have a different mixture of guys. Uh, we've got a lot of scores. We've got a lot of talented freshmen. And getting to that level, you know, getting to the Elite Eight, Final Four, I really feel like, you know, it's a team bond more than anything. I mean, coaching and play style, everything that goes into it. But I feel like if you're able to go onto the court and you know that the guys to the left and the right, you know the game plan and go succeed in doing the game plan because Coach Tang's a great coach. I feel like we have a great chance. What's it been like for you coming in here and obviously seeing you? You mentioned Keontae. Um, from a leadership role, are, there, are you somebody who comes in right away and tries to be a leader? If not, who have you kind of seen step up in, in that kind of role? Well, I mean, our two returners, uh, Cam and Quan, uh, they're good leaders on the court, great leaders on the court. Uh, I feel like my role would be, you know, just come in, bring energy, communicate see share the knowledge that I have for playing basketball. It's kind of weird shifting from being the young one on the team to being, oh, you're the vet now. But uh, I just come in and I, you know, I'll try to do my best and help the young guys get to where they want to get to in life too. Is there anything specific the coaching staff did on your visit here that made you commit so fast or did you just kind of have it in mind going in this is where you want to be? From the Zoom call, actually, it was like I was talking to family, you know, having Coach Tang, my mom, my whole family on the phone, on the Zoom call, and uh, felt like it was just going to be the best fit, especially when we got here and saw how they treated us. We went, had dinners at Coach's house, and just the environment, it just felt right for me. The transfer portal is obviously a crazy place. Mm -hmm. The recruitment specifically for you in the transfer portal versus coming out of high school, was that stressful for you? and? I mean, what was that whole experience like? It was interesting. Uh, I was kind of thankful for it because uh, Creighton, I wanted to be able to go and play right away, and Creighton had lost their whole starting five. I was thankful for that, but going into the transfer portal again after I tested the waters, it was like I was being recruited again, you know, back in my senior year. And I never really liked the recruitment process as a whole, 
but uh, K State made it fun. What would you say? How, maybe I'll say it a different way. How do you describe what it's like playing for this staff on a daily basis? It's family, you know. It makes me want to go out there and give my 100% every single time I'm out on the court. And uh, that's just so important for a basketball player to have the confidence in their coaching staff to know that, you know, they want the best for you. And uh, from there, it's just bouncing the ball and putting it in the hoop. What's the most difficult part of taking this group and making them a quality team between now or when you got here and when the season actually starts? I feel like the most difficult part would just be, uh, you know, understanding people have roles. You know, we have a lot of talent on the team, a lot of talent on the team. and. At some point, people are going to feel like, you know, they could contribute more or they feel like they could contribute more now. But uh, understanding the team aspect of it and where we want to get to, the sacrifice that people have to make, I feel that's probably going to be a little more difficult just because of the talent that we have. Do you have any idea what the competition will be like when you get to Israel and Abu Dhabi? I have no idea. I do have experience playing overseas, and I'm excited to be back with the little molten balls again. Yeah. Um, one question for me. Is there any part of the trip that you're looking most forward to? I mean, going to see the city of David. Uh, my family's very uh, religious. Christianity wise and I feel like being able to go to a historical place like that with so much history and be where Jesus was in his final moments as well as going to the garden is yes to me all that it's just it's gonna be a surreal experience that 12-hour flight though I'm not looking forward to that <laughs> no. that's a long long flight that's, that's a long flight man yeah. <laughs>